guys. Today I want to talk to you about dark eyes versus bright eyes. And I'm not referring to the color of your eyes. So here we go. Matthew 6, 22 verse, and 23. It says, your eye is like a lamp that provides light for your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is filled with light. But when your eye is unhealthy, your whole body is filled with darkness. And if the light you think you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness is. So in actuality, we don't see with our eyes. We actually see with our brain. So yes, our eye is the lens through which we see, but we have to transfer what we see with our eyes to our brain. And then we decide in here if it's good or bad. We decide in here if we're going to accept it or reject it. And it can either bring fear or it can bring peace. It can either be scary or not scary. And so we decide what we see. We decide how we're going to think about it, how we're going to perceive it, all of that. And so when Jesus is talking here in Matthew, he's talking about the eye is the gateway to it all. And, you know, I'm going to tell him myself because that's what I do best. So riding a bike, I love riding a bike, but it's a little bit scary to me. And here's why, because if most bikes, I'm so short that I can't always touch the ground. And so I had one bike that was great. I could, my tippy toes could touch the ground. Like, you know, when you stop, when you go to stop, but my husband did this amazing thing so I could keep up with him when we're going up hills. He got me what's called an e-bike. I love my e-bike. It's an electric bike. So when I can't continue pumping up this hill, I just click on this little thing and it goes and it's great. It's great. However, the e-bike is a little taller than my other bike was. So my eye saw that it was taller. So therefore my eye perceived that's a little bit scary. And so every time I go out on the e-bike, I kind of get fearful like, okay, well my, my toes can't touch the ground when I go to stop. I have to, you know, lean to one side to stop. And so my eyes perceived a little bit of, a little bit of fear. And, you know, I don't think of myself as a fearful person in the least, but my eye gate decided it was a little bit scary. So it has literally, I've had to overcome, the more I ride it, I've had to see it's okay that I can't touch, but if I just lean, I can touch. You know, and I think a lot of us deal with this. If we perceive something negatively with our eye gate, it affects everything. It affects us emotionally. It can even affect us physically. And I have this quote from Pastor Wayne Cordero. He said, and he's moving into the eye gate can cause depression for what you perceive. And he said, depression isn't necessarily a sin, but we can fall into sin by an inaccurate or distorted perception of God and of our circumstances. So basically what he's saying is if you see through your eye gate something negative, your brain is gonna say ah, negative. And you know, if our perception is poor, here's a good, good thing for you to listen to, opportunities um, become terrifying. And invitations can appear as a threat if your eye gate and your brain is perceiving everything negative. So, you know, every opportunity you have in life can have, it will have a difficulty. And every dif difficulty actually has an opportunity. I might need to say that again. Every opportunity has a difficulty and every difficulty has an opportunity. So here's the question. How do we get our eye gate or our brain? Because that's where really we're talking about is our brain. How do we get it to see light versus darkness? Going back to Matthew, remember Jesus said your eye can either go light or dark. So how do we get our eye gate to go towards light? Because we don't want darkness. 
So here's, here's my question to help you. What has God called you to do? So if you can get that in clear focus in your eye gate of what God called, maybe you're called to be a spouse. Maybe you're called to be a parent. Maybe you're called to be a worshiper. Maybe you're called to be a business entrepreneur. Maybe you're called to be an assistant to somebody else. And God has called you to assist somebody. Whatever God has called you to, you need to get back to that. Because when you are doing what you are called to do, you can overcome difficulties and you will perceive things in light versus dark. So let me give you another example from the Bible. Apostle Paul in the book of Acts, do you remember how he was on a ship and the ship is being shipwrecked and everybody's saying, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. And Paul said, I'm not going to die. I'm going to Rome. Why was he seeing even though he could have seen the shipwreck and the storm and everything going on, he could have seen it in a very negative, depressive way, and yet he didn't go there. He stayed positive, and here's why, because he knew what he was called to do. He already knew, I'm called to go to Rome. Therefore, no matter what difficulty comes, I see this as an opportunity to get through this difficulty because I am staying on track. And therefore, his eye gate was filled with light in the midst of it. I mean, he did it again with Paul and Silas before that when he was, we found him, you know, beaten for proclaiming the gospel and in jail. And what does he do? He sings songs and hymns and is praising God. How could he, a lot of people would be depressed and yet he wasn't. How did he do that? He did that because he remembered that the eye gate is important. 1 Peter 4.19 says, Therefore, those also who suffer according to the will of God shall entrust their souls to a faithful creator in doing what is right. Man, I encourage you to study that verse out even more. But we all, I say all, have to suffer in this life to some extent or the other. You, we all are going to go through circumstances that are not pleasant. But I'm, I'm asking you today, are you seeing them negatively or can you turn on some light in your eyes and be able to transfer that to your brain and see it in a positive way that you're going to get through this, whatever you're going through, you're going to get through this. See that circumstance in a light way and get through the circumstance you're in the middle of and say, I'm getting to the other side because as long as you're doing what you're called to do. I'm called to be a spouse. I'm called to be whatever you're doing. If you're doing what you're called to do by God, then you can see light and you can see that I can get through this. That's what I got. I love y'all. See you next time.